Okay, so how I color grade iPhone footage. I create a folder called Converted because we're going to convert the files. I'm not a fan of uh, editing or color grading in H.264, so I want to convert these to ProRes. Um, on the Mac, uh, you could do some flavor of DNX on a PC. And what I use to do that is MPEG Stream Clip. So let's pop that open. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download this for free. Okay, so I go to list, batch list, because I'm going to convert all the files. Hit all files. And um, I will go to uh, my movies folder, iPhone, and I'll select all these files to batch. Quick time for me is okay. I'm going to put this into the converted folder. And we'll scroll up to, I probably, because it's an iPhone, I probably only need ProRes 422, but I always go to HQ. I don't think this really makes a difference, but um, I don't think it has an effect, but just to be safe, I scroll it up. And everything else I just leave as is, because I'm not trying to change a frame rate or do anything like that to batch. And now I just hit go. And I can see the progress over here. It's creating the files. You see the progress there. And when it's done, we just close this out. And this is the footage that we're going to color grade. So in preparation of that, I'm going to create another folder here called CC'd. That's for when we render it out later. Okay, and we'll go into DaVinci Resolve. So I've actually moved my user folder to a data drive, so I have to go to it like this. iPhone, and we're gonna work with the converted files. I'll select all these and I drag them into a media bin. It's asking me if I want to change the format from the default format of a project when you open DaVinci, which we want it to match the footage, so we'll say change. Um, to clean this up, I'm going to create a bin. I'll right click over here, add bin, footage, go back to the master. I will select all of this and drag it into the footage bin. And this way, when we go over to the Edit tab now to create a timeline, you can just right click over here, Create Timeline. Uh, empty is OK. We'll open up the Footage folder. And actually select all of this, Shift, click, and drag it into our timeline. So click on Color. Okay, so that important first step, um, transcoding into ProRes, it seems to create a, a higher quality file at the end by the time it comes out the back end of this process, um, probably because it can hold more color information. Okay, so the thing about iPhone footage and mobile footage in general is it's pretty contrasty. So a little trick I'd like to do is just reduce that by uh, uh, adding a little bit of uh, brightness into the shadows. And it makes our blacks uh, it's just a little more flat looking, almost uh, like it was derived from a log, log footage at some point. Okay, and I am paying attention to my scopes here. Normally, if you want, if there's a lot of black and you want that black to actually touch the zero, so it's like a deep, crushed kind of black, but I want my blacks lifted because it's a big, wide, open scene here. And um, I can kind of compensate for that by bringing down the gamma a little bit. It creates a little more detail, I find, when you reduce your gamma. Um, 
skin tones and so on seem to get a little more detail in there, I find. Uh, speaking of that, in this down here in tab two, we can add a little more mid-tone detail by uh, probably maybe by 15. No, let's do 25. Okay, so I will reduce this. There we go. And our gain, we can see it's clipping up there a little bit, which is okay. It's probably the light from the clouds over here. And we'll just bring it down. I'm going to let it actually kind of clip a little bit into this, this uh, 1023 mark here. And then I'm going to use the soft, uh, high soft here, just to kind of pull it down. No. If I'm on this node, I can uh, press Command D to turn it off. So yes, it's brighter and more contrasty, but this just looks like a little better quality footage, I find. And we can still push the gain itself up a little more and just kind of toggle it back with the high soft. Now on off, on, off, on. Just seems a little richer this way, I find. And we can also add a little, we'll go back to tab one, a little more saturation. I don't know, 55 might be too much, but no, it's pretty good. Now, we want to introduce back in some contrast, but we want it to be more filmic. So we're going to do that with a curve. I'll do that on another node. So click node, add serial node, and just create that little bit of an S curve here. And depending on your phone, uh, I have an iPhone 6, uh, just the standard 6. So the 7 might be a little different. This is also only 1080p footage, so if you have 4K footage or a Samsung phone, um, you just have to play with it to, to find the sweet spot. But once you do, because we're not trying to do any major color grade, we just want to enrich the quality of it. We still want it to look um, unaffected type color grade anyway. So you can go up here. Uh, I'm not quite done yet, but this is what you would do. You'd hit uh, View, Stills, Grab Still. And this creates a still here, which is actually a preset now of these settings. So we can drag and drop that onto each one of these uh, clips, which I'll show you how to do in a second. For now, uh, like I say, we're not done with this one. So I'm just going to hit delete on the keyboard while it's selected to get rid of it. And we should save this project here. Um, iPhone footage test. Okay, so the I like to create one more node, serial node, and down here, luminance versus saturation. What this does is this is the blacks or the absolute darkest point luminance wise in the image, and this is the absolute brightest point over here. So that would be pure white, pure black, and then all the colors in between. And based on the luminance, we're going to desaturate it. So as we get into really dark grays, when they're almost starting to become black around here, I'm going to dip them right down so that our full blacks actually have no color in them. The actual pure black has no color in it and it slowly gradiates up. And we'll do something similar with our highlights, with our pure white mainly, to get that to be white white. I'll toggle this on and off. I don't know if you can really see on a YouTube video like this. We see a little bit here. There's some something going on with the uh, the blue that's over here, and little spots throughout the red. See the red on the uh, cop car here. It just deepens it. You know, it just um, it gives it a little more of a filmic look. Okay. Um, so I think we're we're good to create a. Uh, template or a still. And now all I got to do is, we'll 
select the next similar scene and let's just drop this on here and we immediately get that look okay now um, we'll create another still so we have that one and this is video footage this is actually a time lapse I did with the iPhone quality actually turns out a little better on on that but let's um let's drop one of these on and see what it looks like looks pretty good okay we'll toggle all off option d and all back on Thing about here is the midtone detail so we're adding more detail into this footage just kind of sharpening it and um, and trying to uh, get rid of the 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 low end part of the contrast where it's crushed a little bit sometimes some of the shots are okay like this one I don't feel like it really needed anything so now we will go to um, now we'll go to the Deliver tab. And this is where we output it. So I'm going to browse. And remember, we created that folder called CC'd. So we select that. And that was from the Browse button there. And we want to um, say Individual Clips. And we'll go to the File. Uh, we don't want custom name, we just want the source name because it's in its own folder so we can keep all the source name which is actually good when you go to edit um, and you were editing with the non-color graded files now you can just copy these files into that folder and it will overwrite them and then you just have to re-render out of say Premiere or Final Cut okay make sure I've got everything right there Okay, so we will click Add to Render Queue, and it puts it over here. I'm just going to do a Command S to save it before I start my render. Start Render. All right, so now we can quit DaVinci, see our CC files. Let's open this up. Uh, let's see, VLC. And there we have it. I hope this was helpful. And if you like filmmaking videos, please consider subscribing. And thanks so much for watching.